Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows. A secret little update has gone unnoticed within the version 28 update on the desktop application. It may have been a minor version bump, not a major one. So 120 hertz support is now available for the Air Link and the Oculus Link as well for us to play PC VR with 120 hertz, meaning we can have super smooth PC VR gameplay that is approaching the limits of the Valve Index on a headset that is only 299 pounds or dollars this is just crazy crazy to see there are some small nuances that you may run into when trying to actually enable this so i'm going to go through that now for you guys so you know how to activate it so the first thing you want to do is plug your oculus quest into the computer or use the air link to connect your headset to the computer as well. You just want to see device active in the desktop application so you can check the settings. So if you were like me and you go to general, go to the bottom, I was on version 29. This is because I have the public test channel enabled. So when you go to see if the Quest has 120 Hertz, it will not be available. So what you want to do is disable that public test channel and wait for an update. You can see how long this update is going to take. If you go to library and then you go to update, you can see it there pending. Once it's complete, you will be prompted to update and restart the desktop application simply do that. So now you should be on version 28 of the desktop application. So you want to go back to devices, select your Oculus Quest, and you should now see 120 Hertz as an option for you to enjoy some epic PC VR gaming. Be aware though, if you are using a wireless option to connect, it's likely this is going to be unstable. You know, it's gonna be really hard to push out all of those frames at a decent resolution for you to have the best experience. Because if you've got a router that's on the other side of the house, it's being used by the entire family, it's not going to work out so well for you. So I do recommend having a dedicated router like I have here or a wired connection for the best possible experience. Also, if you've set this up and you're trying to connect 120 Hertz to PC VR, please make sure that in the experimental settings you've enabled 120 hertz as well because for some reason it was causing my oculus link to crash and i was scratching my head wondering what was wrong this is the performance hud running in the oculus debug tool using oculus mirror here i'm playing swarm and it's being pretty stable staying at 120 hertz it's a pretty great experience i do love this game as well but it's not that intensive so there i go and try it on half-life alex and it's uh it's not the greatest thing that we've seen even on low settings and i've got a Ryzen 3700X and a RTX 2080. So you may have better luck if you've got more power behind you, but I'm just highlighting that not every game is going to be able to hit these benchmarks without some serious, serious hardware behind it. But there are games that you can enjoy and have a really smooth experience. I'm pretty, pretty chuffed with this and I'm looking forward to trying out some more games. So that's it from me today, guys. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Go and enjoy 120 Hertz virtual reality PC VR gaming with your Oculus Quest. Now, do it now, but subscribe first. Happy gaming, guys. Good day.